Okay, guys. Good afternoon. Happy, happy Sunday to you. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Oh my God, it's so windy. I came to see someone this morning, very briefly, and I'm just leaving. Oh my God, this wind is making my eyes watery. So guys, the news buzzing all over social media this weekend. And it was on all Nigerian blogs is the story of the alleged breakup of the marriage between Stella Damasos and Doris Simon's uh, ex-husband, Daniel Adomonica. And allegedly, the um, Nollywood actress, Stella Damasos, who married um, Doris uh, Dori Simon's um, husband, and they relocated to the U.S. And the information on all the blogs is that the marriage has allegedly crashed. Now, I don't know some of you, if you remember way back, but a lot of Nigerians on social media obviously remembers this story. The guy called Daniel Adomonica was married to Doris Simon. And from every information available they were happily married in that relationship they have they had they have a son from that marriage now doris simon is an actress and she's very prominent in the yoruba um nollywood yoruba um industry while stella is also a colleague and stella is a nollywood actress who previously was acting in um, in the english movies in nigeria before she relocated to the u.s now some st some bloggers say, saying that Stella and Doris were friends, but um, Doris has openly come out a few years ago to, to you know, to debunk that um, story saying that they were not actually friends, but they were colleagues. They all acted together because the Nigerian film industry, Nollywood, is a small place. They all know each other. So she said they were not friends, but they were colleagues. And she didn't have any problem with her husband before Stella inserted herself into that marriage. Now, a lot of people were unhappy with the breakup of that marriage because they felt like Stella wrecked that marriage, allegedly. And a lot of people were saying that she, they called her names like husband snatcher, home wrecker. These are all the things that has been attached to her name. And some, and I'm talking about in the 90s when there was no social media and this was all only on a soft cell Nigerian newspapers. There was no social media at all. Um, that period so the breakup was very controversial Stella was married before and this was her third marriage she was married to um, in her first marriage um, ended because her husband died and then shortly after that she got married to another guy and the marriage you know did not last I don't think it even lasted up to a year and that marriage ended and then before we could say Jack Robinson Stella was married to Doris's husband and the thing that made the thing really painful to a lot of people was the fact that Stella did not only marry Doris's husband. They relocated to the U.S. and left Doris in Nigeria and took their only child. This is the only child that Doris had with Daniel from their marriage. And she felt very, very... You can imagine, it's, I mean, it's bad enough that you lost your husband. But losing your only child is something that a lot of women... To be honest, I give Doris a lot of credit. I, I do. I respect her a lot because I think she has a lot of dignity and class. Honestly, she does because a lot of women would have brought heaven and earth down. Not only because, you know, somebody who you consider as a colleague has come, you know, and inserted yourself, herself into your marriage, but not only marrying your husband, but taking your child and they relocated. And I remember she granted an interview where she was saying that, you know, that they are in court. And the matter is in court. She didn't want to say anything much about it. And she never really granted any interview that period was bashing the ex-husband or even bashing Stella. She never said anything negative about Stella throughout this period. But I'm telling you guys, a lot of people were not happy. And according to um, what people were saying in Nigeria at that period, they this couple, this newfound love now, had to leave Nigeria. You can see this is the happy couple. This is Daniel, that's Doris, and that's their baby, who is now a teenager. This was when they got married. You see how young they were there. 
I mean, everybody who is in Hollywood will tell you that they were very happily in love in their marriage before uh, Stella came into the picture. Now, I know we do say it here a lot of times that, you know, you cannot snatch a man that doesn't want to be snatched. But I feel like it is time for us to start allocating blame to the women who wreck marriages as well because they are culpable, whether we like it or not, in breaking up other people's marriage. This couple obviously were happy in their relationship. They were happily married until until Daniel met Stella. Now, when Daniel met Stella and, you know, she started dating him or they started dating one another, before we could say anything, this guy has left his wife and married Stella. Married Stella. And before we could say another thing, you can see, he took the child and left Nigeria, leaving this poor Doris heartbroken. And you can see why a lot of people are rejoicing with her today on social media. I'm telling you, I've been reading, I've been reading a lot since yesterday. I've just been waiting to share this story. And I can tell you guys that a lot of people are celebrating. Some Nigeria have taken to social media to celebrate the reported breakup of the marriage between Hollywood actress Ella Damasos and husband Danny Idomonica. And the ex-wife Doris Simon is, is getting a lot of sympathy and a lot of people are really congratulating her and saying that she's having the last laugh for, you know, the, what happened to her, what this woman and her ex-husband did to her. They took her child. I mean, it's something that a lot of women will not be able to live with. To be, It's enough to break someone that is not only the marriage ended for whatever reason, whether she was the one that seduced him or the one that toasted her. And, you know, one thing I, I was thinking about when I was, um, when I was um, reflecting on this story is the fact that I know we do say that uh, it's the man that was chasing her. Fine. The man was chasing her. This is the Stella now, Stella Damasos. This man is, is, is somebody that you know. He's a mo movie producer. It's not like it's somebody that was unknown in Hollywood. He was a movie producer in Hollywood. You know him. You know that he is married. Even if he's the one that came after you, you could have said no. And this is what um, Simon said, Dory Simon said, um, that was just displayed here. You could have said no. You don't need to agree. You could have said no. You are married. Leave me alone. But I feel like a lot of women are very happy to date a married man and you know, even though we blame the married man for being the one that is chasing them, if the women do not agree, they cannot force her. It takes you to tango. So I think both both parties are actually guilty. The man is more guilty, obviously, because he was the one that knows that he's married. He's in a committed relationship with someone, and then he, he dumped his wife because he's seen another pretty face. And I'm telling you, his wife, this Doris, is a beautiful, beautiful woman. She's very sometimes I we don't you don't really know what men are looking for, to be honest. She's very calm, and you can see from the way she behaves since the, end, the marriage ended that she's not someone that is, you know, melodramatic or someone that is so cantankerous because she was not granting interviews, she was not blasting the ex man, she was not saying anything negative, she just kept quiet. It's like she just accepted her fate, took Bakadara, and she was just praying to God. And you see why a lot of people are congratulating her today now? Because... She didn't see her son for a long time. They had to go to court in Nigeria. And we all know how the courts in Nigeria are. Nigerian society is very patriarchy. And as such, the courts as well are not going to be any different. You don't, you don't go to court in Nigeria and you just expect that you're going to find justice overnight. It is very expensive. You're going to spend a lot of money. And if you don't have as much money as that, your ex-husband, then you are sure that you know, you're going to lose the case. So she went to court. Obviously, we don't know what the court judgment they gave. But by then, it was too late. The son was already in the U.S. And they were doing their blended family. That's the Daniel. Daniel and Stella started doing blended family in America. But I suspect that that blended family did not, you know, it didn't work out as, as much as they wanted it to, go, to work out. I mean, they've been married for a, for a number of years now. But we all know that the Nollywood headquarters is in Nigeria. You can't say you're an actress and you are based in the U.S. and you're a Nollywood actress. And you're, not, you're just going to be left behind because where everything happens is in Nigeria. It's, just, it's like saying you're a fisherman and you leave your river and then you go to the desert. So, of course, they are going to face a lot of challenges. And I feel like the way that, you know, they went on on social media and they were posting about each other, like when they did the anniversary in May, that's a picture. They were writing all these long epistles about how much they love each other, how much they've been a blessing to one another. And don't forget that Stella previously had two children, two daughters from her first marriage. And they never have any child. They never had any child together. She and Daniel don't have any children together. 
So now, allegedly, the news are all over the media saying that Daniel has taken his son and left their home in Texas and moved to another city. He's moved to another city. I think it's Houston. They say he moved to. I'm not sure. But the point I'm trying to make in all this is that some women don't have any problem dating a married man, even though they know he's married. Yes, it's the man that came to ask you out. But, ah, we, we women, we talk about women supporting women all the time, but some women, we, we, we just need to fear God. And remember that what you do to someone else, you are likely to experience the same thing. And that's what people, a lot of people are saying now that it's karma. These are some of the reactions on social media. You should see the reaction. They are hilarious. I'm telling you what people are saying that is the God of Doris Simon after all these years that has caught up with her. That is, is the same thing they used to flog the senior wife that they used to flog the younger wife. That Daniel deserves what Kama has served him. She and, uh, she and uh, Stella deserved what they are getting now because God is a God of justice. And the way they behaved, the way they treated that poor woman, the way the marriage, they just, it was very, very bad. The way they treated her, it's not, it's not, mm, it's not uh, very nice. I'm sure she was heartbroken. One social media commenter said, I am dancing right now on this elating piece of news. Karma is real and God is never a support of evil. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Another person said, God has fought your battle, Doris. He has scattered the camp of the enemies. Hey, see comment. If you see comment, eh? <laughs> her last post. Hmm? Her, if you go to Doris Simon's uh, Instagram page, her last post, people are commenting. Somebody said, the enemy can try but can never succeed. A Yoruba adage usually connotes that the same whip that was used for the previous wife will eventually be used for the present one. It's just a matter of time and patience. And my goodness, you showed maturity all through the old day. Patience truly plays, truly pays. And never for a single day have you said anything nasty about both parties. However, I guess unfortunately you've moved on to better things. What a mighty God we serve. Now we know who is laughing last. You see what I'm telling you? These are some of the comments that people are posting on social media. So, um, I don't know. It's not likely. It's not. People are celebrating as if they are going to come back together. But this is something that has been over a number of years now. I know there was a time, um, a number of years, a couple of years ago, when Doris went to the U.S. and you know he was. She was finally allowed to see her son in New York when the dad brought the boy to New York. Then he had grown. He had not seen his mom for many years, and she was so happy. She was posting the picture. She was celebrating. People actually did some videos about it on YouTube saying that at last that Doris has been reunited to her son. So you can see why a lot of people are coming after Stella. Now Stella has been the one that has gotten this name because even though she came out to say that oh she's not a her home wrecker, she's not a husband snatcher, it's gonna be very difficult for a lot of people to to swallow to, to, to take kindly or whatever she has to say that the man came after her. The marriage was not over. Definitely the marriage all sources in the Nollywood industry said the marriage was not over. He was married. I don't know what happened because Stella is a very beautiful girl as well. If you do, I've seen her in real life and she's drop dead gorgeous. So maybe he felt like, um, you know, his wife is not good enough again. So he has to marry somebody else or whatever. But I mean, marriages end and, you know, it's always people will allocate blame. But the part that I particularly did not like is the fact that she, um, Stella knew that this man was married and taking another woman's child is just is just something that you don't do even if the father wanted to take the child with her uh with him wanted to take the child with him to the u.s when you guys know that you wanted to run away from nigeria because of the shame or and the humiliation of us of, of what you've done because a lot of people were not happy with it and they were really you know people were saying a lot of things writing epistles and saying things so many things on on, on soft cell magazines about them even though you wanted to leave nigeria you don't take another woman's child and then you put him to put the child in your family and you say you are doing blended family. Ah, that's where you draw the line. As far as I'm concerned, this is just my own personal opinion. You are free to say yours, but um, this is what the news is. It's a sort of breaking news that happened over the weekend that the marriage between Stella Damasos, Nollywood actress, to Doris Simon's hair source band, of which a lot of people call that a home wrecker, a home breaker, or whatever name you want to call that. 
the marriage has ended allegedly and women sisters we need to do better please there is no gain in wrecking somebody's home there is no gain in inserting yourself into another person's relationship you might say that oh he's the one that came after me but you know he was married you don't have to agree you don't have to say no you can say please go back to your wife i know you are married even if you're having issues go and sort your issues out don't be so agreeable to bring on happiness to another woman because if you do down the line it might not be so rosy for you as well because karma is real it will come for you the same way that you 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 bring agony and pain to another woman who will be suffering you will be enjoying and doing love they even they have all sorts of channels that they people were saying on on instagram that she, they are giving marital advice that uh stella was giving mar marital advice and of course nigerians don't forget people were not taking her seriously like you are in your third marriage you took somebody else's husband now you want to give us advice about marriage auntie i beg pack well <laughs> oh my god you don't want to see nigerians on social media when they want to troll you ah uh, you serve a wag bar you go take <laughs> Oh my dear. So that is the news though that the marriage is over allegedly. Nobody is happy when the marriage breaks breaks down. But don't forget, this man was never your husband. He was married. And you came and took him, or you took each other or whatever. You know, I know it's a lot of people are gonna have issues with me saying that he she took him, but they took each other because it takes two to tango and put that other woman in sorrow, took took her child away from her. And this is the result now. So leave people's husband alone. All of you listening to these that dating married men, leave leave those men alone. Even if they are the ones that are saying they don't love my I don't love my wife, it's, it's a lie. It is a lie. Send them back home. Let them go and fix their relationship. Whatever they have issues they have with their their wives, let them go and fix it. You are not the answer. You are not going to make anything better. You're only going to destroy their life. So please. Let us do better. Women cannot support women. We cannot be doing women supporting women as long as other women are easily happy to step into relationships of other women and just, you know, make everything worse. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to end it here today. Leave me your thoughts and your comments. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard the news. I just wanted to put my two cents as I usually do here on this channel. And uh, leave me your comments in the comment section. I'll speak to you guys in my next one. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's the red button down there. And if you hit on the bell sign, you get notification whenever I post my 